good morning children welcome back to our video classes we are under the discussion of unit 3 chapter 4 expansions exercise 4b we have completed one problem in yesterday's class now we learn second problem today children right what is given in uh, second problem we have to expand expand first one 2x plus 1 upon x into 3x plus 2 upon x secondly they have given 3a plus 2 by b into 2a minus 3 by b children one i will solve because both the problems are of similar type one i will do one you solve at home children right first one i'll take and i'll show you how to expand it right okay 2x plus 1 by x into 3x plus 2 by x it is in the form of x plus a into x plus b no we will multiply here children because it is not in the form of x plus a into x plus b let us multiply these two binomials children okay one by one i'll take it here see how i'm solving i'll take the first term 2x into 3x plus 2 by x plus 1 by x into 3x plus 2 by x you know how to multiply two binomial children you have to take the first term multiply to the full bracket take the second term and multiply to the full bracket this is how we are multiplying two binomials in the same way we are multiplying here i have taken first term and i have multiplied to the full bracket and I have taken the second term and we are multiplying to the full bracket. This is how we have to multiply two binomials. See here how I am multiplying. Right? Now, 2x into 3x. 2x into 3x is how much children? 2x into 3x is 6x square. Correct? Then, and here we have to multiply only to the numerator. 2x into 2 by x. I will multiply here. 2x into 2 by x later on i will cancel it children now i will write it plus 1 by x into 3x 1 by x into 3x it is here i will multiply let it be afterwards we will i will take uh, one more step and i will simplify here 1 upon x into 3x children plus 1 by x into 2 by x it is 1 to the 2 x into x it is x square it will be 2 by x square here one more step i'll take and i'll simplify here look at here children in this this x and x get cancelled right similarly here we can cancel this x and x x and x get cancelled here children here also we can cancel x and here also we can cancel x whatever the remaining part that we write it over here 6 x square right as it is then 2 into 2 it is 4 4 plus right then 1 into 3 it is 3 plus 2 by x square you keep as it is simplify further i'll write 6 x square as it is plus 4 plus 3 it is 7 4 plus 3 how much it is it is 7 plus 2 by x square 2 by x square you write as it is 6x square plus 7 plus 2 by x square will be the expansion of 2x plus 1 by x into 3x plus 2 by x understood children okay second one you do it yourself right now children let us study problem number 3 what is given in problem number 3 try to understand here expand first one x plus y minus z whole square children this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square and second one they have given x minus 2y plus 2 whole square third one they have given 5a minus 3b plus c whole square and fourth one they have given 5x minus 3y minus 2 whole square all these problems are based on a plus b plus c whole square you have to expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square 
children better you write down one formula and afterwards i will solve it right i'll take the formula first we have a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca expansion of a plus b plus c whole square ready children a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca right in the same way we have to expand one by one i'll take the first one what they have given here x plus y minus z whole square now children here we have in place of a as x in place of b as y in place of c as minus z you have to substitute a as x b as y c as z and simplify see here how i am doing this one i'll write in place of a as x so it will be x square plus y square right if you square minus z here again it will be plus z square plus z square plus 2 into a is x b is y right then plus 2 into b c b is y c is minus z right as it is plus 2 c a plus 2 into minus z into x so in place of a b and c i have substituted the values of x y and minus z let us simplify this children see here how i am doing this one i'll write x square as it is y square as it is and z square as it is here 2 into x into y how much it is 2 into x into y what is the product children here it is 2xy right right here 2xy and then here plus into minus plus into minus gives you minus here write it minus sign then 2 into y into z what is the product over here 2yz minus 2yz you will get it here similarly here children plus into minus plus into minus it is minus then 2 into z into x what is the product 2zx so write 2zx as it is so this is the expansion of x plus y minus z whole square similarly i'll take the second part of the problem second one also you can write it i'll take x minus 2y plus 2 whole square children here we have in place of a x in place of b as minus 2y and in place of c it is 2 substitute and simplify children in the formula right a square means what here x square plus minus 2y b is minus 2y minus 2y square any number any minus sign if you square children you will get it as a plus so it will be 4y square 4y square then 2 square 2 square is how much it will be 4 right then 2ab plus 2 into a is x then b is minus 2y correct similarly plus 2bc 2 into b is minus 2y and then c is what here c is 2 right in place of c as 2 then here plus 2ca c means what here c is 2 then a is x right in place of a as x simplify further i'll write x square as it is plus 4y square then 4 you write it as it is no problem and here we have plus into minus it is minus 2 into x 2x 2x into 2y how much it is what is the product here children is it 4xy so no children 4xy we write it as 4xy and then here we have plus into minus it is minus right here also it is minus children 
minus 4xy plus into minus it will be minus 2x into 2y it is 4xy minus 4xy then plus into minus it is minus 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8y and here no problem here we have no sign free from sign 2 to the 4 4 into x it is 4x so this will be the expansion of x minus 2y plus 2 whole square similarly i will go to the third one children here what is given in third one third one it is 5a minus 3b plus c whole square let us expand it using the identity a plus b plus c whole square now a square a square it is 5 a whole square one step i'll write it extra over here okay 5 a whole square plus minus 3 b whole square plus c square because in place of a we have 5 a in place of b we have minus 3 b here children right then plus 2 a b 2 into 5 a into minus 3 b it is 2 a b in place of a we have 5 a in place of b we have minus 3 b clear now 2 b c 2 into minus 3 b into c c here no problem we write c in place of c next plus 2 c a 2 into c into a is what here 5 a substitute now let us simplify further here children 5 square it is 25 25 a square as i told you if you square any minus sign we will get plus children is that clear your understanding okay minus 3 square is how much it is plus 9 9 into b square 9 b square correct then plus c square you write as it is then here plus into minus gives you minus so 2 5 is a 10 right 10 3 is a 30 30 a into b a b it is 30 a b clear then plus into minus minus then 2 3 is a 6 6 into b c or is it what is the product children 6 b c or not right 6 b c 6 b c similarly plus i will write it no problem then here 2 into 5 10 10 into c a it is 10 c a 10 c a right so the expansion of 5 a minus 3 b plus c whole square is 25 a square plus 9 b square plus c square minus 30 a b minus 6 b c plus 10 c a so i have solved three problems children fourth one and fifth one I will do it right now. Okay. Yes, children. Now let us go to the problem number four. What is given in problem number four? Try to understand, children. Okay. 5x minus 3y minus 2 whole square. Same. This also I will expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square. Right. 5x minus 3y minus 2 whole square is equal to a square a square means it is 5x whole square plus b square b square means it is minus 3y whole square plus minus 2 whole square right then plus 2ab 2 into 5x into minus 3y it is plus 2ab plus 2bc b is minus 3y c is minus 2 plus 2ca 2 into minus 2 a is 5x right simplify further see here how i am expanding this one 5x whole square 5 square is 25 25 into x square is 25 x square then here as i told you square of any minus sign it will be plus children 
minus 3 square it is plus 9 y square right as it is then here minus 2 square minus 2 square it is plus 4 square of any minus sign it is plus children understood then here plus into minus it is minus 2 5 is a 10 10 3 is a 30 30 xy it will be minus 30 xy then here children plus into minus 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 into minus again it will be plus 2 3 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 12 into y it is 12y then here plus into minus it is minus then 2 2 is a 4 4 5 is a 20 20 into x it will be 20 x so this will be the expansion of 5x minus 3y minus 2 whole square similarly i'll go to the fifth one this is fourth one and then we'll go to the fifth one what is that x minus 1 upon x plus 5 whole square same thing expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square simplify a square a square is x square plus b square b square is minus 1 upon x whole square plus c square c square is 5 square then plus 2 a b plus 2 into a is x b is minus 1 upon x correct plus 2 b c plus 2 into minus 1 by x c is 5 write it 5 here plus 2 c a 2 into 5 into a is x understood simplify then here write x square as it is then square of any minus sign it is plus children 1 by x whole square it will be 1 by x square then 5 square 5 square it is 25 then here plus into minus it will be minus children we can cancel this x and x here one is in the numerator another is in the denominator these both get cancelled then plus into minus it is minus already we have done two ones are it is two then here plus into minus it is minus two ones are two two fives are ten will be 10 divided by x then here plus 2 into 5 10 10 into x it is 10 x here we have number children these two plus 25 minus 2 you can simplify because numbers can be added and subtracted x square plus 1 by x square 25 minus 2 gives you how much here 25 minus 2 how much 23 no write down 23 over here plus 23 minus we can take even minus 10 common over here children otherwise you can write it as it is no problem minus 10 by x plus 10 x enough this much if we expand that is more than sufficient x minus 1 upon x whole square is equal to x square plus 1 by x square plus 23 minus 10 by x plus 10 x understood children okay yes children now let us learn problem number 4 what is given in problem number 4 if a plus b plus c is equal to 12 and a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 50 we have to find a b plus b c plus c a children we know that a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca is equal to a plus b plus c whole square this is the expansion of a plus b plus c whole square or not we already know that a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca is equal to a plus b plus c whole square right and we know the value of a square plus b square plus c square here a square plus b square plus c square is how much 
is it 50 i'll write it here 50 then plus 2 what i will do here in this 2ab 2bc 2ca i will take two common outside let us take two common outside if i take two common what will you get here children ab plus bc right plus ca is equal to a plus b plus c is how much it is 12 12 whole square correct then now what we do i'll write 50 as it is plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 12 square is how much 12 square it is 144 then further this plus 50 i will take to rhs it becomes minus right so 2 into a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 144 minus 50 subtract 50 from 144 how much you'll get 2 into a b plus b c plus c a is equal to subtract 50 from 144 144 minus 50 will gives you 94 correct children then plus 2 you take to rhs it goes to the denominator therefore a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 94 divided by 2 divide 94 by 2 2 1s are 2 47 are 47 2 is a 94 right therefore a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 47 this is the value of a b plus b c plus c a a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 47 understood children okay now let us study problem number 5 what is given in problem number 5 children if a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 35 and a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 23 we have to find a plus b plus c let us find a plus b plus c we already know the formula children a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca this is basic formula already we know children right then i'll write a plus b plus c whole square as it is now we know the value of a square plus b square plus c square how much is a square plus b square plus c square here it is 35 so substitute in place of a square plus b square plus c square as 35 plus 2 into as i told you here i'll take uh, two common outside let us take two common what remains you write it here a b plus b c plus c a right further i'll simplify 35 plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a is how much here we know the value of a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 23 in place of that a b plus b c plus c a you write 23 correct then a plus b plus c whole square therefore a plus b plus c whole square is equal to 35 plus 2 into 23 23 twos are how much it is is it 46 children yes write down 46 35 plus 46 a plus b plus c whole square is equal to find the sum of 35 and 46 35 plus 46 will gives you 81 correct huh? yes next children to remove this square this number you have to put into the square root and you have to take a plus or minus sign while solving any quadratic form to remove the square the number you have to put into the square root and you have to take plus or minus sign therefore a plus b plus c 
is equal to plus or minus root 81. Square root of 81 is how much? Is it 9 children? Therefore, a plus b plus c is equal to plus or minus 9. This is the value of a plus b plus c. a plus b plus c is equal to plus or minus 9. Understood? Okay. Now, let us see what is given in problem number 6 children, right? a plus b plus c is equal to p and ab plus bc plus ca is equal to q. Find a square plus b square plus c square, right? Same, right? We have formula a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca is equal to a plus b plus c whole square. Children, we know that LHS is always equal to RHS. Either you write a plus b plus c whole square on RHS part or you can write it on LHS part. Now, we want the value of a square plus b square plus c square. I will write as it is a square plus b square plus c square plus I will take two common outside here. In this 2ab, 2bc and 2ca, I will take two common outside. If I take two common, you will get ab plus bc plus ca is equal to a plus b plus c is out here. We know that a plus b plus c is equal to p. In place of a plus b plus c, you write p, then a plus b plus c whole square becomes p square, right? Then a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into ab plus bc plus ca is what here? ab plus bc plus ca is q, 2 into q, it is 2q is equal to p square. Now 2q, you take 2 RHS, it becomes minus. Therefore, you will get a square plus b square plus c square is equal to p square minus 2q. This is the value of a square plus b square plus c square. a square plus b square plus c square is equal to p square minus 2q. Understood? Okay. Now, what is given in problem number 7? Let us see children. If a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 50 and ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 47, find a plus b plus c. Same formula you apply. We have a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. We want the value of a plus b plus c. So, I will write this a plus b plus c whole square as it is. Now, we have a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 50. I will substitute a square plus b square plus c square as 50 plus 2 into. Again, I'll, what I will do here in 2ab and 2bc and 2ca, I will take two common outside. If I take two common, you will get a b plus b c plus c a. Then substitute the value here children a plus b plus c whole square you write as it is 50 you write as it is plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a it is 47. Correct? Huh? We know the value of a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 47. In place of a b plus b c plus c a I wrote 47 over here. Simplify further, a plus b plus c whole square is equal to 50 plus 47 to the, how much it is? 2 into 47 gives you 94, 50 plus 94, a plus b plus c whole square is equal to 50 plus 94, how much it is? Is it 144? Yes, sure. 
144. Now to find the value of a plus b plus c, to you have to remove this square and this number you have to put into the square root. Therefore, a plus b plus c is equal to plus or minus root 144. Square root of 144 is how much children? Is it 12? a plus b plus c is equal to plus or minus 12. Therefore, the value of a plus b plus c is here plus or minus 12. Is that clear? So, here we have solved the problem number 7. Okay. Yes, children, we have completed 7 problems now. Now, we have problem number 8 which is the last problem of this exercise 4b. What is given here try to understand children. If x plus y minus z is equal to 4 and x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 30, then we have to find the value of xy minus yz minus zx. Now what is given I will take first here children. x plus y minus z is equal to 4. And then what I will do here, I will say squaring on both the sides. Let us square on both the sides. Say squaring on both the sides. Squaring on both the sides. Let us square on both the sides. What will you get it here? It is x plus y minus z whole square is equal to 4 square. Correct? Now, this you expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square. a plus b plus c whole square already you know the expansion children. a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Expand using the identity a plus b plus c whole square. x square plus y square plus z square. If you square minus sign, you will get plus, right? Minus z whole square is what here? Plus z square plus 2ab. 2 into x into y. It is 2ab plus 2bc. 2 into b is y, c is minus z. Correct? Then plus 2ca. 2 into c. c is what here? Minus z. a is x is equal to 4 square, 4 square it is 16. Simplify further, I will write x square as it is, y square as it is, plus z square. Then here, plus 2 into xy, plus 2xy, correct? Then, plus into minus here it is, minus, minus 2yz, plus into minus, minus 2 zx is equal to 16. Simplify further, we already know the value of x square plus y square plus z square here children. x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 30. And what you do here, this 30 you substitute here, x square plus y square plus z square as a 30. Now x square plus y square plus z square is 30 plus and. In this 2xy minus 2z minus 2zx, what I will do here, I will take 2 common outside. If I take 2 common outside over here, what you will get here? xy minus yz minus zx is equal to 16. Correct? Huh? Then, what you do next? This plus 30, you take to RHS it becomes minus, right? Then 2 into xy minus yz minus zx is equal to 16 minus 30. Correct? Huh? Plus 30, if I take that side, it becomes minus. Because x square plus y square plus z square it is 30, 16 minus 30. Therefore, 2 into xy minus yz minus zx is equal to. Subtract 
16 minus 30 will gives you how much? It is minus 30 minus 16. Fourteen, right? It will be minus fourteen. Two into x y minus y z minus z x is minus fourteen. Then two is multiplying with this children. Two you take to R H S. It goes to the denominator. Therefore, x y minus y z minus z x is equal to minus fourteen divided by two. Two ones are two sevens are. Right, therefore, xy minus yz minus zx is equal to minus 7. This is the value of xy minus yz minus zx. Okay, here complete this problem. This much is enough, children. Right, we'll continue in the next class. Right, thank you.